every kid we talk to, what do they want to do uh, in college? Um, play at Duke in Kentucky. Yeah, it play D one, right? That's probably ninety eight percent of the kids that reach out to us want to play D one. And obviously, there's only so many scholarships available, but one of the options is to walk on. And some kids uh, choose to walk on. Some kids uh, decide not to do that. But you actually chose to walk on. Tell us what college you chose and why you chose to do the walk on route. Like, what was your thinking going through at the beginning? And then tell us what the experience was like. And then what kind of eventually happened with that? Sure. Um, so, for added context before I start kind of rambling about my walk on experience, I did end up transferring. Um, to a Division II school, Assumption University in Western Massachusetts, which was um, a much better fit athletically. Um, but yes, you're right. I did. I did uh, pursue, uh, you know, preferred walk-on opportunity. Um, went to the University of Minnesota. Um, similar to all recruiting, it was relationships built. Um, the foundation of it was my high school coach, Quentin Dale, played junior college ball with Vic Couch, who was an assistant of Dan Munson at Minnesota. Dan Munson, the guy who built up the Gonzaga program, he, you know, the opportunity to coach in the Big Ten, I think uh, at the time was a, a very uh, lucrative upgrade. Um, now Gonzaga is a whole nother beast, right? Um but yeah, the chance to, to walk on in Minnesota was very much driven by, you know, my long-term vision of wanting to be a, a coach full-time. And I wanted to be able to kind of experience, you know, what it looked like in the trenches. And I certainly got exposed to the business side of uh, high major division one athletics. And we were able to play in the NCAA tournament. Um, I was a hell of a scout team player, Corey, but um What's most important, what the best takeaway is, like you, you nailed it on the head, you know, 99% of kids aspire to play Division I. And when we're navigating the college matriculation process, I'm, I can speak to it firsthand. And I'll be the first to admit that unless you want to coach or, you know, work in sport, work in athletics full time, um, I don't recommend the walk-on route. And I try to scare kids away. Um, so almost similar to Charlie Brock at Springfield College, who tried to scare me away from, from coaching college basketball. It's like, listen, this is, this is ugly. This is nasty. Um, unless you really, really love it and this is what you want to do, uh, I, I prefer if you pursue, you know, other options. So, um, yeah, I try to share my story with every kid that kind of goes through that, that process. Um, I believe that being an impact player at a smaller college is a, is a much better experience for most kids. But, you know, all kids are different, right, Corey? But they are all different. But what specifically, you being a walk-on, did you not like? Was it you're going to spend all this time and effort and bandwidth to never step on the court? Is, was that the main thing or did you, did you need more playing time? I mean, what was the thing? Cause you got there, you were probably excited. And then reality starts setting in. What, what was the moment where you're like, you know what? I don't think this is for me. Do you remember? Oh, it was a combination of factors for me. You know, I mean, I was certainly grateful to be on a team that played the NCAA tournament. Um, and my room, I told you that's my roommate was Ryan Saunders who went on to be an NBA head coach. So I have like zero regrets. I think the, the transition to, to division two was, you know, full scholarship on the table, the transfer, uh, playing time opportunity, knowing that, you know, I probably am not going to pursue, you know, playing overseas after college. So I was kind of at that crossroads where I just decided that I wanted to, you know, be a, a bigger contributor to a rotation, um, knowing that the chances of, of kind of getting on the floor and playing as a walk-on were slim. Yeah. 